Oh, I got revived. That's definitely what happened. Some time later. Oh, great. I'm on a ship, and I'm butt naked. What's going on? Ah, he's finally come to. And he can speak human, turns out. Started thinking I'm not conversing common the whole way. Except maybe with me reflection in the piss bucket. Where... Where am I? On the Albatross. Or the fuck Barthoil. It's no strange tongue, is it? En route to a fear. Don't remember signing on as a sailor. <laughs> oh, you didn't, mate. They dragged you aboard. Seems you killed that prince. Hmm. Oh, toad in the sewers. Damn it. Should consider myself lucky, I guess. Could have killed me on the spot. Depends how you look at it. Happen to know a bit of a theory. Heard them saying they come here on a mission, dispatched by their king to find their prince, lift his curse. Wagered their honor, and that of their families five generations back, that they'd bring him home safe and sound. And I killed him. Great. So, must think they can save their honor by bringing the prince's murderer back to face the king's justice. Okay, who are you? And who might you be? Felipe Calagrand, at your service. Petty thief, professional fence, and your guide about Oxenford. What a bit of time. Mm -hmm. And why are you here? You kill a prince too? Well, to their thinking, I had a hand in this one's death. See, I was their guide. Led them down into the sewers. But not until after you'd cut their prince's gut open. Sorry about that. Not your fault, mate. When all said and done, could have sat on my ass in the alchemy playing Gwent. Didn't have to brag about knowing Oxenford better than my own breeches. Hmm. We been at sea long? Uh, dunno, Riley. Not that long. Though, on the other hand... But what's it matter, any road? Matters a lot. If they're hauling me off to hang me, I'm not in a hurry to arrive. Me? I'm glad to be silent to a fear. I hear they got wild horses there. White, with black stripes. Always wanted to see one of them. Sure they're not black horses with white stripes? Nay, black horses with white stripes they got in Zangwebar. That I'm sure of. Okay, what about Shani? Listen, there was a young woman, a medic, red hair. They capture her too? Don't recall seeing anyone of the sort. You were alone. Good. Means she managed to flee. Hopefully made it home. Tried to break out yet? Uh, used every ounce of charm I got. Nothing doing. Might be Maya Fury's, Rusty. Maya Fury's non-existent. Well, we'll be at sea at least a month. I'll teach you something that time. Elkal! Orial! What's that mean? Told us to shut up. There's been a misunderstanding. Can I talk to your captain? Elkal Sorkan! Galavat Kar U Albata Agel! Quiet, dog. You killed our prince, and you'll pay for that. Gileam Valar, Carvarefeler. You'll be dead already. Revhagar ne Aram e Kar. Vengeance is not ours to reap, Anna. Dorgate ye Alami. We swore on our honor. How do I say? Take me to your captain. Valth alache ul egulath. What? Elkal. Valth. Uh, or, or, or something like that. Ralph, Alege, Ur, Igileth, Elkal, Inkal, Avr, Ikel, Ugeherev, and Ulvita, Incha, Avar, Goliath. What? What just happened? What did he say? Said to sit quiet, and that you'll hang in two weeks. And then he added something like, We'll see who's in the mood for jokes then. Why? What did I say? Uh, along the lines of, I want your nose bouncy bouncy. Utter nonsense. Great. Give it a rest. No point talking to that lot. All you get's angry gurgles. And they puff up, you notice? While them fish. What's it they're called? There anyone here who speaks common? Ah, there's this mercenary with them. Looks a Danian to me. He's the one recruited me to show him through the sewers. Oh! 
And the mage what leads them knows a bit. Heard him talking. But I doubt either will talk to you. Uh, I was you. I catch some shut eye. Not go on flapping my tongue. Got a long voyage ahead. Sleep's not what I need. Someone I can actually communicate with. That's what I want. Greetings, Geralt. Remember me? Uh, yes, I think. I remember. We met in White Orchard. You're... Gaunter Odin, known also as Master Mirror. I helped you find your Yennefer. We meet again. And it seems you need my help again. Heard a noose awaits you. That is, if this slot doesn't kill you first. I haven't tried it yet. I haven't tried it yet. Hmm. Doesn't look promising. Not unlike your situation. I could try to extract you from here, you know. Because you do wish to disembark, do you not? Yeah, sure. But what on earth could you... Oh, more than you'd ever expect. I shall help you, Geralt. But before I do, I must know you'll return a favor. Right. Can't possibly get something for nothing. Indeed. When all's said and done, I am a merchant. So, do you want my help? Yes. It's a deal. Once it's all over, we shall meet at midnight at the crossroads, neath the willows near the village of Yantra. Ah, and I must give you something to remember me by. What the fuck are you doing, man? What's that? A mark to show we're associates. Oh. Another scar on your face. Who are you gabbing with? With no one. Never like monks. Not one bit. I heave like devils. Make me stomach churn. Oh, it'd be prime to sleep through the whole thing. Oh shit! Oh, he's dead. Definitely dead. So am I. I think. Oh. Didn't bargain for no storm, but bear that means a tidy jump in my feet. To a fear, get us safely. The king's reward will be generous. What about the prisoner? Before the king, we must bring him. On doing so, my honor relies. Can't we just bring your king the bastard's head? Like we do with the other? The other drowned. We could do nothing. We deliver lie, this one. But apart from all else, the hell the king is sure to condemn him to. I wish to see. Oh shit, he's dead. What kind of hell? Tarring, flaying, and quartering. This is the punishment for regicide and deaths. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Bitch, I'm free now! You don't wanna face me now, boys. I am a witcher after all. Oh, shit! I gotta fight! I gotta fight! Come here! Come here! Off three soldier! Ah, what the fuck? Come here! Damn! Come here! Ah, from the back! Boy! Shut Stop it! Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die again. Not on my watch. Come here, mage. Where'd you go? Burn! He's doing some kind of sand you too. Come on, he's made. Ah! Oh, I got some- Oh, I got my health back. Stop it! Stop it! Come here. Mm. 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 Ow! 
You mother... Ah! Come here, you stupid mage. Get in the water. Burn. Ow! You sand stupid... Ow! Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He's right here. Ah! Dude, ow! Son of a bitch. Mm. Oh, he's almost dead. Just gotta touch him one more time. Ah, got him. Now, where the hell are my clothes at? Give me your shit. Okay, gotta meet the master. Gotta get, give me your loot. Give me your loot, man. Okay, what, where's my inventory? Where, where's my stuff at? Why isn't this equipped? Wait, wait, that's better. Oh, that one, no. Boots. No, hands. No. Silver sword. Wait, what? No, I want this. Give me, give it back, man. What? A cavian? Negotiator? What about this one? Plus twenty. Ah wait, but I could I could put some stuff on it. Um see if it's better. Is it better now or still plus twenty? What about now? Negotiator, put that over here. Okay, uh, need to repair, repair. Use that. Oh, I can't. Uh, armor, sure. Okay, where, okay, here's my thing. Okay, here's my thing. <clears throat> Use that. And the silver sword. Yes. Use this on my silver sword. Okay, uh, let's see. Description. Whatever, whatever. Alright. <clears throat> There's another dude over here. I'll take your stuff. You have a chest over here. Wait, I got... Wait, what did I get? Oh. Tunic. Brigandine. That's plus four. I don't have any gloves. I need those. Give me those gloves. Plus 13. Okay, uh... Minus 17, minus 29. Resistance, breathing damage, bludgeoning, bleeding. What that has slash? What does this one have? 20%, 20%, 195%. I'll take my thing back. Okay, we're moving on. Who's this dude? Doesn't matter. 700 meters Where am I exactly? How you doing Rochi? Come on, you gotta go Run run Roach. Why can't you run? Come on. Here we go What are those neckers? Screw them. I don't have time for this I don't have time for you Wait, am I? I'm in Novigrad. Oh, I'm in Novigrad. I could just teleport to the end. I can't. I gotta ride it. I gotta ride. Man. Go, Roach, run. I gotta ride my way there. Man, it sucks. But I'm close. So we're good. Come on. Roachy, come on. We'll be there in a minute. Thanks, or I think so. Okay, here we are. What the hell's going on here? Smile fair as spring, as to me draws you. Okay, let's so meditate. Meditate. Where's my meditation? At midnight. Okay, let's meditate. 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 Here we are. Black screen. Oh, here we go.
I knew you'd come. You a soothsayer? It matters little who I am. Your escape, I made it possible. Previously, Yennefer, you found her thanks to me, so you feel you owe me. Memento you gave me. Pretty effective reminder. That is its purpose. Incidentally, I find it quite funny how even the most rotten scoundrels have this inner compunction to repay debts of gratitude. Humans? Elves, dwarves, all races. You really must explain that to me one day. As for the here and now, tell me, how'd you manage with your theories? St uh, summon that storm? You appeared out of nowhere, disappeared just as mysteriously, summoned a storm. Let me guess, you're a mage. Oh, please, no. I cannot stand spells. Childish hocus pocus. It's just not interesting. What I find fascinating are true tales, true human lives, like the one I shall tell you now. It's about a man, worse than most. A vulgar, despicable man with a heart of stone. A man who refuses to pay his debts. Really think this will interest me? Any reason why? He's wronged you as well. His name is Olgierd von Everick. What? What? What did he do to you? Before I reveal this, I'd like to make one thing very clear. Olgierd von Everick did willfully and maliciously conspire to cause you to kill a man who might have been cured. Had I not intervened, you would have lost your head for this. Do you know why he did it? Because he's a degenerate monster in human flesh who feeds on the pain and suffering of others. Well, you clearly don't like him. What did he do to you? He and I made a pact. A pact under which I called on my many talents and associates to give him what he desired. And now the time's come to pay. Yet... He shirks his obligation. Need me to collect a debt? I'm not some hired muscle. Muscle is not what this requires. It needs a soul intelligent and clever. An individual who fears no dare. Someone like you. Pure flattery, that. Of course it is. After all, I am a traveling merchant. But make no mistake. I've many interesting wares on offer. Where's like? Surfeit. Abundance for the body and soul. You will lack neither food nor drink. As a witcher, you might desire weapons supreme. I can offer you those you dreamt of. Your body, agile as never before. Your mind, faster than lightning. Romantic prowess to charm all womankind. But above all, I offer a great and true adventure. An experience like no other, the fate of only the chosen few. Sure sounds generous. And all that for my help with one small matter. Won't want anything else from me? Just one. Honesty. What have you done? What did you do for old Geard? Break him out of a cell too? In some sense, yes. I remember that day quite well. It was a light drizzle, yet the cold tore right through you. Olgi had appeared at the break of dawn, gaunt as a rail. His shirt, mothy, seemed to have naught but the sword at his side. It quite pained me to look at him. He asked for help, and help I gave. Made him a rich man, successful, esteemed. He is who he is today, thanks only to me. And yet afterwards, he turned his back, shunned me, sends me off when I dare ask for payment, even sicked his hounds on me once. He's thus left me no option but to invoke the terms of our pact. And that is where you come in. All right. Huh. How much does he owe you? <laughs> Gentlemen, don't discuss coin. Need to know the details if you want me to get my hands dirty. How much? 
A million crowns? Two million? I'm no usurer to lend coin for interest. No. What Allgeard owes me is far more personal than shiny things that clink. As much as I regret it, I can say no more. I must respect his privacy. Okay. What about you? Call yourself a man of many talents? Can't you take care of this? Therein lies the catch. Our pact states that before I can collect my due, I must yet fulfill three wishes for Von Everick. But I cannot fulfill them myself directly, making use instead of a... Hmm, how shall I put it? A proxy. Mm-hmm. So what you need's a sucker. What I need is an ally. And something tells me I shall find none better than you. What do you expect me to do? To start with, join me in paying Von Everick a visit. Then, well, then we shall improvise. I believe, however, that all will end well. And, once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we shared. Right. Specifics now. Thought Orgeard had three wishes, requests, whatever. Uh, he does. He may ask three things of us. Yet, we won't know what they are until we see him. I don't like this at all. <sighs> all seems a little shady. Your help? Your pact with Olgeard, his three requests. Think it over. I agree you've no a priori reason to trust me. But, as it happens, I was in the right place at the right time to help you. And it's also the case that the same man has wronged us both. To my mind, those are reasons to work together. To my mind, not so much. Come with me to see Olgeard. You shall see he's a vile, dishonorable man who treats the lives of all folk like playthings, as he treated yours when he sent you to find the Frog Prince. Alright, uh, I'll go with it. Fine. I'll go see Algird with you, but no promises. That is all I ask. Now remove the damn mark. Naturally. Just as soon as you complete your task. Go. You will not regret it. We shall meet there. I have a matter to attend to along the way. Another debt to collect? Perhaps. I don't like this guy. I gotta go see Olgir. Jeez. How long is this mission? Alright, let's go. Come on, horsey. We gotta go. We gotta go! Okay, we made it! Looks like- Move Oh, it. what the hell happened here? What the hell happened here? What the fuck? Well, look who's here! The Witcher with the fits to steal! What's new? Got a growth on your platter there. You catch some kind of a theory pox. Could say so. Manners burning, you noticed? That? All right. You know how it is. Feast drags home with plenty of dancing, merrymaking, rough play. <laughs> we got a bit carried away, truth be told. Plain to see. Where's all geared? Damned if I know. Must be somewhere hereabouts. No! Please! I beg you! Shut your trap! <laughs> Who's that? Let me go! Leave me be! Shut it! I ain't with you! Drank with you! Fought beside you! And you kill me now? I'm one of yous! You might have been, but not no more you ain't. What's he guilty of? What the fuck's it to you? Not your concern, mate. Calm down, let's Whoa. talk. Nerves a little raw? Why? You deaf! Get the fuck out of here, freak! All I want is to know what exactly is going on here. Well, you're not gonna know! Sod off! I'll leave as soon as you tell me. Aren't you a thorny prick up the arse? Ataman said to kill him! Got your answer. Happy? Now piss off! We've work to do. <clears throat> no, you don't. 
Let him go. Oh, this is bloody rich. Can't plow him, believe me ears. You switch your brains with your cock or something. Get your mutant with your ass out of here. Or... Or I'll kill you! Go ahead. Try. Whoa, whoa. What the bloody hell is this? Geralt, have you decided to play defender of the downtrodden? More like gutter of sons of bitches. Long as I'm here, y'all got no one. That a challenge? Why not? I've not fought a witcher before. Defeat me and I shall let him go. Stand aside. Oh, we're fighting? Oh, we're fighting, all right. Would you wait, sir, for the dribble to subside? Makes no difference to me. Just listen. Stunt and fight. All right, I'll fight you. Come here, you bitch. Ah, come here. I'm gonna burn. Ow, whoa, what the hell is this? He has a weird sword. He's blocking all my shit. What the fuck is shit? What is he doing? Oh, he's a sword. What the hell? Okay, so he throws. He's good at moving. I gotta admit that. Oh, he's, he's like, fuck. Why are these guys so strong? I'm good. Damn it. He's, he's good at, um, in the back. Is that possible? Okay, he keeps... Dodge them, that's for sure. God damn it. I got him in the back, I got him in the back, I think. Mm. Damn it. Okay, that doesn't work. Get him. That doesn't work. Okay, Eren doesn't make me. What was that? Oh! Got it! Okay, when he's about to do that, I gotta hit him. Stop it! Jesus Christ, man! Jeez, fuck.
Well struck, Witcher. You win. But Ew. perhaps you'd care to tell me why you meddled in a matter not yours. Wanted to prevent for the bloodshed. Well, well. The Witcher with the heart of gold. Unsavory as it seems, there is a silver lining. At least you now know I don't easily lose my head. Release him. <laughs> Getting off cheap, mate. What are you? Really necessary, that whole show? Ugh. Show? Come now. A man must display some madness from time to time. Helps him feel alive. Dare say you know what I mean. Judging by the mark on your face. You're immortal? Depends on your understanding of the term. Indeed, I cannot be killed. But it's not at all what folk imagine. Not dying does not mean eternally living your life to the full. So it's a curse? A curse? No, wouldn't call it that. I'll put it this way. You must be careful what you wish for, lest your wish be granted. For there are consequences. Not sure I follow. You know very little can hurt you. So you take wild risks. Chase extreme sensations. There comes a point you've done it all. It all seems boring and monotonous. The tricks to plough through that moment. Go further. Reach beyond what's known as possible. So you recognize the mark. You know what this is? I cannot be certain. But I've my suspicions. That's a dangerous man you've chosen to deal with, Witcher. Killed the beast in the sewers. Congratulations are in order then. Your reward. You're also welcome to take what you wish from the manor house. If anything's left uncharred, that is. Was it a tough fight? I sliced its gut open, and it turned into a man. You know that would happen? Of course he did. He'd never have dragged you into this elsewise. Gaunter or Dim. Come to cast aspersions? No. I've come to collect a debt. You know you first must... Grant you three requests, by proxy. I present to you my champion. Geralt of Rivia. Hmm. That true? You know the Toad was a cursed prince? He didn't just know. He brought about the curse himself. Did he not mention that bit? Well then, allow me to tell it. Quite the gripping story. Olgierd once loved a beautiful maiden named Iris. Yet, her parents chose to offer her hand to the Crown Prince of Ophir. Olgier grew to hate the poor sot. At first, he wished to kill him. Then decided this would be too simple. So, instead, he condemned the prince to a base life and a toad's bloated corpus. Yet he grew bored of watching him suffer and decided to end it. By your hand. Remind me, O oh Dim. Who is to fulfill my last three requests? My assistant, Geralt. Then be gone. I don't wish to look at your face any longer than I must. Come. Where to? The stables. My men are preparing to depart. Hmm. Seems like a private spat to this me. This thing between you and Master Mirror, your quarrel, really rather not get involved. You already are, I fear. He did something for you. Now you've a debt to repay. Am I right? Yes. Well, then you'll not free yourself of him until you've paid it back. But never worry. I shall devise tasks so impossible you will never complete them. 
Not if you go mad trying. But try your best, and your debt shall be absolved, while I shall live in peace until Master Mira finds another aide de camp. Okay. What he said about the prince, that true? You turn him into a toad? Perhaps. Or perhaps the Afiri Dofa ate something that disagreed with him. You never know with their cuisine. Never heard of food that turns men into monsters. Then perhaps it was something he drank. Hmm. Ah, I cast the curse. Revenge for a deep disappointment. I was another man then. Let rage get the better of me and hollowed the words without ever thinking they could possibly come true. Could have told me the truth about the toad, having a bit of fun at my expense. I simply wanted the beast dead. I could not know you would respond to the notice. Pure coincidence. Yeah, I must admit, when you, a witcher, answered the call, I thought it right. It's what you lot are trained to do. Might have been able to lift the curse. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Then again, why bother? He was a human being. That bloody Afiri mutt was no human. His kind does not deserve to live. So your three requests, and what are they? I guess I gotta pop the question directly. What do I need to do for you? Hmm. Let me think. We're currently without a roof over our heads. Perhaps we should start with that. Bring me the house of Maximilian Bosodi. His house? So surprised. But why? I must live somewhere, mustn't I? What's the meaning of this? Second leave of your senses. You mean to mount a filthy horse? Out of my sight, wretch! Know what Vladimir would do to you if he saw? Aye. Vladimir. My brother. There were times he himself stank like foot wrappings three days old. But his mount always looked fit for a parade. Oh, none rivaled Vladimir at feasting, carousing. Sadly, he's been celebrating less of late. You must find him, and show him the time of his life. My second request. Fine, seems easy enough. And the third? Complete those two. Then, we shall speak of the third. Any helpful Any hints? hints? Where I should go, how I might start? You must be mad. I've no intention to make things easier for you. Alright, well, we'll find you. Once I'm done with those two, where will I find you? I cannot know, as my band has planned some diversions. But let us say at the Alchemy Inn, in Oxenfurt. Fine. See you there. Is that the end of the mission? Or is it continuous? The brother shouldn't be too hard. But the house? How am I supposed to bring him a house? Actually, the opposite. I wouldn't worry about the house. The brother will be the tough bit. All right. You waited for me. Nice of you. I could hardly abandon my proxy to the whims of fate. Thought I have to fulfill Olgiert's wishes myself. So states the contract. Yet, nowhere does it forbid me from providing help. And something tells me you'll need quite a bit to complete the first two tasks. All right. Olgierd's brother. Why do you think he'll be tough? I'm afraid he's dead. Has been for years. Of course. Uh, never agreed to necromancy. The necromancy is hardly your only option for reviving a soul. An old-fashioned ritual, a blood summoning. That's what you need. That's like choosing between pestilence and the plague. Sides, I'd need the blood of the summoned. Blood. True. Of the summoned... Not necessarily. Here. Where do you get this? Geralt, 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 aren't you the curious one? Assume it to be von Everett blood and get on with it. Hmm. Where'll I find this Vladimir? Geralt, I cannot do everything for you. Use your head. The von Evericks are well known in these parts. You must have met someone who's heard of the family. The charming redhead, for instance. The medic. You know the one. Okay, how am I supposed to find him? Borsodi's house. 
No idea how I'm supposed to bring him that. Hmm. The only Bosodi I know of around here runs an auction house in Oxenford. Heard of it. My swords almost got auctioned off there once. Auction was held in Novigrad, though it was a while past. They must have relocated. You just might get an opportunity to ask them why. Fine, I'll go there. Then what? How should I know? Perhaps you'll get inspired once you're there. Oh, and take plenty of coin. I have a feeling it could come in handy. Alright, let's do this. Uh, guess it's high time I got to work. A bit more enthusiasm, Witcher. You know, you just might enjoy yourself. Yay, can't wait. Say I need help. Where'll I find you? I shall find you. Right. Good luck, Geralt. All right, all right. Ah, oh, we finally did it. All right, guys. So, I'm gonna end this episode right here. Like, subscribe, share, and comment if you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out, everybody.